Welcome to Elector Online. Now let's familiarize ourselves with some basic terms and definitions when we're dealing with what we call, yes, the Cartesian or the rectangular coordinate system. Whenever we draw an X and a Y axis together as a pair, that forms the Cartesian coordinate system or the rectangular coordinate system. And on it, we can identify points. Now notice the X, Y axis actually form a plane. So we have some additional names for it. We could call it the X, Y plane, or we can call it the coordinate plane. And on that, we can identify points on that plane. And each of those points have an ordered pair of values. So that's called an ordered pair. So a single point on the plane is, what is defined by two values called the ordered pair. The first value is the x-coordinate and the second value is the y-coordinate. And yes, we'll learn how to draw these. Now notice that if you have two ordered pairs and you connect them, that forms a line. So two ordered pairs, in essence, define a line. Now some of the terms that we should be familiar with, again, let's draw an x and a y-axis. That forms the Cartesian coordinate um, uh, system or the rectangular coordinate system and notice where the two lines meet, the x and the y axis meet, that's called the origin. Also notice that if we draw a line on the xy plane, the line will typically cross both the x axis and the y axis. Those crossing points are called the x intercept and the y intercept. Not all straight lines or not all lines do have two intercepts. When the line is horizontal, it only crosses the y-axis. When the line is vertical, it only crosses the x-axis. So any set of points that are set up on a line or a linear, in a linear dimension, we then have what we call a line when we connect them. Typically, you only need two of those in order to form that line. Now also notice that if we look at the Cartesian coordinate system, we divide the plane into four quadrants and we take the upper right quadrant and we call that the first quadrant and then we go around the coordinate system in a counterclockwise motion then here we come up to the second quadrant, the third quadrant and the fourth quadrant. Now notice that in the first and the fourth quadrant all the values to the right of the y-axis that's where x is going to be positive. If we look at the first and the second quadrant all the values uh, above the x-axis that gives us all the values where y is positive. So everything to the right of the y-axis, x is positive. Everything above the x-axis, y is positive. And so if you get familiar with those particular terms and when you, when you encounter them, it doesn't confuse you. So again, realizing that all we have when we talk about the Cartesian or the rectangular coordinate systems, we simply have a plane that's defined by the x-axis and the y-axis. Any point on the plane can be defined by two numbers. The first number is the x value, the second number is the y value of that point. They're also called the x coordinate and the y coordinate. And those two values together are considered the ordered pair, where the two lines meet, the x and the y axis meet, that's called the origin. A line will typically cross both the x and the y axis, so we have an x intercept and a y intercept. Those are important points of that line. Notice we divide the coordinate system into four quadrants. We have the first, the second, the third, and the fourth quadrant because we go around in a counterclockwise motion. Notice everything to the right of the y-axis is positive for the x values. Everything above the x-axis gives you a positive value for the y value. And that's the basic things you need to know. Now we're going to go ahead and employ all these. So stay tuned and we'll show you all the various aspects of dealing with linear equations drawing lines on the xy coordinate system and learning how to do all that. So stay tuned and we'll show you all the techniques that you need to know to handle linear equations.